Good morning and welcome to Lufferig Tarn in the Central Lake District. I don't know about you, but as an amateur, I spend the entire week daydreaming about the photography that I'm going to do at the weekend. And then when the weekend finally arrives, I don't really know what to do. Um, one of my worst habits is on a Friday night, not, still not knowing what location I'm going to head to. And it's been worse for me since I finished my projects, my uh, Lake District Location Guide. Uh, I don't really know where to go. I'm lacking focus, I'm l lacking direction. But I didn't have that problem today, because today I've met up with a friend of mine in something that we've had planned now for well over a month. You may remember a few weeks ago, I shared with you a painting that a friend of mine had done of one of my photographs. Well, that was, that was Alex, who I'm with today. And I will introduce you to Alex in a minute, but first off, conditions here are absolutely gorgeous. And I really ought to get the camera out and get a few shots first. Before I take my shot, I've got some good news, some brilliant news. And that is that my 24 to 70 millimeter lens, my favorite lens, my standard zoom lens, has been fixed. It's back and it's on the camera. And I'm tempted never to take it off again because I have really, really missed it. And I'm gonna try and get a shot this morning of the Langdale Pikes across Lufferig Tub. It's a very, very simple shot. And it's one of these shots that you tend to favor uh, a slightly longer focal length than you might normally. Uh, something around 50 to 60 mil, which is bang in the middle of where this lens is at its best. Um, yeah, so it's good to have the old girl back. Really, it's a beautiful morning this morning. It's ever so still, and these are the conditions that I really like. The sky's not particularly interesting. It's, there's no cloud, uh, and it's quite bright, and that's reflected in the water. And we've got quite a good balance. Now, normally what I would do is I would pop a grad on and try and darken the sky, try and bring a little bit of interest. But the problem we get when we're shooting reflections is then what you end up with is, if you're not careful, a darker sky than you have water. And that looks weird. That's obviously not natural. Um, always your reflection must be darker than your sky. So today I'm gonna to shoot with just the polarizer to start with. I was a little bit concerned before I came that this was going to be the wrong location for today. What we're doing is we're actually shooting away from the rising sun and obviously often with landscape photography what you want is a nice colour in the sky and some clouds um, to reflect that. Now, there aren't really any clouds this morning um, so that's I guess a good thing um, and with this very clear sky what we're actually trying to do is trying to get some light on the Langdale Pikes themselves. And that's what we're just starting to get. So whilst I've started with the 24 to 70 mil lens, what I will probably do now is switch over to the 70 to 200 lens and try and get as close to the peaks as I possibly can. So I often talk about how a lot of my shots are premeditated, about how I know what shots I'm going to take before I come out on location. And that's exactly the case this morning. I know both compositions that I was going to go for. I knew the wide shot that I wanted across the tarn, and I knew the zoomed in telephoto shot of the pikes themselves. And I don't know which one's going to be the best, um, but I will probably pick one as my favorite. And it is now, 10 to 6, and I'm pretty much done. I've got the shots that I came for. And what I'm probably going to do now is have a little look around and see if I can find anything else, see if I can find any more unusual compositions, because these are, these are pretty regular shots. But before we do that, let me introduce you to Alex. So this is Alex. Alex, how are you doing, mate? You all right? Uh, good morning, Chris. Alex is a mate of mine. Uh, we met through photography, through my channel, 
Um, Alex, you've come over from, where was it this morning? Washington, just outside of Newcastle. And how long does it take you? Um, quite a while. Two o'clock in the morning I left. You left. Do you think it's been worth it? Oh yeah, it's definitely been worth it. I mean, just look at the backdrop we've got here. It's been beautiful. Yeah. And you, you're a photographer, but you're more of an artist. I'm an artist and I use photography to create um, point and shoot really. Point and shoot. Images that I can turn into paintings as such. And have you, got, have you seen anything today you think you might turn into a painting? Um, this tree behind you, but uh, I'll have to work on it. Sometimes I manipulate the images, you know, Photoshop and get them in the way I want. Okay. And then I'll paint them. So. Yeah, you're quite good with Photoshop, aren't you? Uh, I'm not bad. Not bad. Better, better than me. <laughs> better than me. But I'm no good with the Lightroom, so... <laughs> ah, fair enough. So we've got a couple of shots. One of the things we're definitely going to do today is we're going to do a selfie. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to... Let's go and do that now. And then we'll see if we can get a few more shots for you to paint later. Brilliant. I think that uh, selfie is going to have to wait because conditions now are just gorgeous. I've got the, the, the two compositions that I came for, as I said. Um, so rather than just doing them again, I'm going to go for a pano. Now, I don't know if this is going to work. It's probably going to be too wide, uh, but I'm going to have a go anyway. Um, so we'll just have to see how we get on. For the panorama, what I've done, obviously, is I've put the camera into portrait orientation. And the other thing I've done is I've taken the polarizer off. What I want to avoid with the polarizer is if you're taking panoramas, what you need is that, that, that seamless join. And what can happen when you're using a polarizer is it's slightly darker at the edges. And that can cause all sorts of problems when you try and stitch a panorama together. So this has come off. Now, it should be okay. There's enough dynamic range in this camera um, to capture the scene that I'm photographing at the moment because I'm shooting away from the sun. So this should be okay. So I'm going to bag this now. Now, I don't know whether I'm going to use all of this or whether I'm going to crop right down to something like 16 by 9 using the Norman method. Um, but we'll just have to see. That's one of those things I'll sort out later on when I get home. As I mentioned before, whenever I meet up with anyone else, I also like to get a selfie as a bit of a memento, as a bit of a memory. Um, and it helps me to remember the people that I'm with and the places that I've been. Uh, I kind of stopped doing the selfies for a bit, um, but they're definitely back and I think they're gonna stay for a bit longer. Anyway, so Alex and I are gonna do a quick selfie now. And the light is changing and it just looks beautiful. So we were going to go and have a look for another shot, but we might just stay here for a little bit longer and, and see if we can get some, another shot, but with some slightly different lighting. It's funny because at the end of the week, oh, I don't want to keep this for three of the season. I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> and it's like competition. But we've both got quite a bit of weight. That's it, you do that. I'm absolutely fine. <laughs> Do you look at the lens? Oh no. Oh, well, I look at you. <laughs> Not lovingly like that. <laughs> I look a bit weird. <laughs> oh. <laughs> got a bank of cloud on the horizon at the minute and what that means is that the light is constantly changing the light is constantly coming and going and it's absolutely fantastic but I am having to work a little bit harder than I normally would I've certainly taken a lot more shots than I normally would and at, at this stage I have absolutely no idea which is going to be my favorite of the day but I'm just going to continue in this vein uh, I'm not going to do anything else I'm not going to uh, slow down because I'm just having too much fun Because Alex is a very wise man, what he's done is he's brought a stool with him. I don't know why I didn't think of that. 
And so he just sat here on the edge of the lake taking it all in. And I think that's a lovely shot. Lovely shot of a lovely guy just sat there, you know, just taking it all in. So I'm gonna grab that. No, I'm not gonna take that with my normal camera. I've got this. It is a Canon 600D. And I bought it for a specific reason, and I won't go into that now, but I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna shoot handheld, which I don't think I've ever done before on this channel. I just wanna get a lovely shot of Alex enjoying his morning. I think Alex and I, we've done this, this shot to death. Got loads of shots. I've taken a handful, far more than I normally would. Alex has taken, I don't know, 500, I think, About probably, that. something like that. Uh, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna pack up the gear and we're gonna head off and we're gonna see if we can find something else. And in the process, we're gonna have a little chat because if I've learned anything about Alex today, it's that he likes a little bit of a chat. We wandered around to the other side of the lake and, you know, it's just beautiful. Uh, and I spotted another composition. I think we're going we're gonna to try and grab that quickly. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just glorious. It's just wonderful to be out. It's, what a wonderful morning. Which, which is, I think, why I, I like James as well so much. He's a, he likes to be up in the hills. Yeah. And he's not even bothered sometimes when he's taking photographs. He just sits here and looks. Yeah. I'm all set up now. Um, I just love this, these reflections. I mean, I just can't stop shooting the reflections. I love reflections anyway. I love this beautiful, the, it's the, the colors, it's the greenery. Um, and this is the time of year when, for me, photography starts to get difficult because the Lake District becomes so green and it's very difficult. You know, everything's very vibrant. And for me, that doesn't always make a very good photo, but this, this looks brilliant. So what I've, what I've tried to do is try to get as much of it in as I possibly can. So I've gone for the wide angle lens. I didn't think I was going to use it today, but I've got it out. And I've got it as wide as it will possibly go. And I've just got my horizon running straight through the middle of the frame. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think of this. So Alex, I've noticed today that you've been shooting quite a lot handheld. Yeah, 90% uh, of what I shoot, Chris, is handheld. 90%? So. I never never shoot handheld. I think, in fact, the, the shot that I took of you earlier when you sat on the stool is probably the first shot I've ever done <laughs> on my YouTube channel handheld. Uh, and I've been doing it for nearly two years. Why, why do you shoot so much handheld? Um, basically, I'm not a pure landscaper. I shoot anything. And I'm looking for a lot of material to paint, maybe later, so whatever. Uh -huh. But um, I'm growing up in, in the film age. Uh -huh. I used to be very careful what I shot for the reasons of you had to pay for it. Now, digital, I shoot anything and everything. Okay. A lot of point and shoot. Uh -huh. And you just, took, you just took a panorama and you shot that handheld. Yeah. So I think technology these days is just amazing what you can do. So I'm going to put this up. Now, and be honest, can you tell that this is a handheld panorama? So I think that's, a, that's enough for Alex and I today. Um, we've had a, a fantastic morning, got lots of shots. You enjoyed yourself today? Fantastic day, beautiful. Glorious, weather. isn't it? And we've been shooting for about three hours. And I, don't, I think I've taken more shots in the last three hours than I have done for, for many years. I want, to, I want to thank you, Alex, for, for coming all this way and having, having a day out with me. I really enjoyed myself. It was well worth the effort and I really enjoyed myself. Good, good. So we're now going to head off, go and get a bit of breakfast and have a bit of a chin wag. Because as I said, 
Alex likes to chat. 